Hello, 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 hello. Okay. No. Oh, almost. And in my own life. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. There you go. Hello, 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 hello. Oopsie daisy. So this happens when you fall asleep and you can't sleep. You get up. So what I did was I was at Let's Maps, I call them. And I took this envelope apart that looks like this. And I laminated it so I could have a pattern. And I'm just making this one's going to be a little smaller off each end because of the width, but that's okay. And all I do is a trace. And I just cut right on the line. I do at least. Which can sometimes be tricky because of the folds of the map. Them. Um, once I get it folded or folded, cut, I fold it over and I determine okay, I want this one side or this side. I like this side because a lot of more map. And then I just kind of fold it in my seal over. Line up. You might have to trim this a little bit. That's all right. No big deal. Pull it down. I kind of look a little bit. You might have to work it. See how it's over just a smidgen. Just work it. Work your magic. We're mad. We're all crafters. Hi, Clint. Pull that in. Pull this in as well. Work your magic a little bit at the top. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> it was called me, you got bored. Yeah, I was sleeping for a while and then I just woke up. I woke up a while ago. And then I'm just going to trim. A B shape on this one. Call it that. I'll fold that over. And look, and that's on top. 
This is at the bottom. I'm going to pull that up. Now, I'm going to do it. Now, I always put the smaller edge on top. I don't know why, but I do. I am making map envelopes. And you will see in a second, a little what bit, I'm also going to be embellishing it. So, I'm going to take that back. I'm just going to glue. On the edge. Like so, flatten that out. Here as well. Hold that up. There you go. And you just have your flap. Now, I made these two different ways and I poked myself in it. So I'm not going to do that one. But it's very simple. You can do a button on the back so you have the tie. And all you really do is I just took a little circle punch inside as well. And I took the circle punch through the paper into the button. And then I just grabbed some thread. Tied it around this button, and you have that it's like so. Now, the next one. So I'm going to put these to the side for now. And I got bits and pieces, and I gotta find what we're using. This one. That. Oh, this one I'm not using. This one. I had to find the right one. That I don't know what I used it for, but it's all kind of cut weird. I don't know why. And we're gonna see. If I can make this one. The thing is, I think I can. I'm just going to trace, and I'm just going to kind of put a mark where that is. And that. Hi, Jennifer. I know I do. Bits and pieces. Well, it's because I keep everything. Yeah. That's going to be hard to see. I lost my mark already. Oh, okay, right there. So what are you guys doing up, up this late? Call accomplishing two things at once. 
Ooh, my full page folded over. What's that? That was too cool a piece. I have a bunch of storage bins here today from. Now I can toss a bunch of that. Cool. Oh, that's cool. that little line and I'm just going to bend on that line. That looks good. Same thing. Bend on that little line I made. That looks good to me. Whoops. Except I'm a bonehead. Got the trim on the same job. There we go. You gotta make sure the tricky part is you have the map <laughs> that has all the folds in it. Likes to. <laughs> and so I always mark just a little dish dish dash marks so I know where my glue will go glue down And then we're just going to fold that up. And more glue. And then this one. You just fold down. Okay. And you could use double sided tape or just leave this flat. There we go. So, like I said, I'm using bits and bobs. Bits of, oops, I keep grabbing that and that's not one. So, Bits and bobs, bits and stuff. You don't have to have map pages to do these. I just have. See, that's going in my book. <clears throat> Jennifer, do you need me to send you a reminder? Or a, or a request on PayPal for, or do you gonna just do it? Hi, I forgot how we're in. I know you're in. I mean, there's so much, and then so much later in the month. You want me to split it and send it into, send it to you, or you got it? Let's go. Put that down like that. No, let's see how big this is. Oh, we'll save that possibly. Something else. Nope, I got it. Okay. All right, just checking. Now let's see. Ooh, I like this writing. I like that, like that. So now we're going to go like this. 
right on the edge. Ooh, that's going to be awesome. But right on the edge. So then I got the both flaps on top. So that's cool. So I'm going to go round, 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 down, over. And this little mark. Another little mark. <laughs> and I got this. I'm just going to cut like that and that. Look at that nice piece I can put in my book. But I want my Tim Holtz scissors for the top. I was going to color, and then I decided to get this out. What made me decide to do these? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I have no clue. Do do. Don't know. Uh. Happy February 1st, guys. Can you believe we're already in the second month of 2022? Crazy. Okay. No. Two. Sometimes you might have to re bend a little bit depending. Get it straighter. Crazy. I know, right? That looks quicker. Straight to me. It's good. Bring that up. So dash, dash. Another envelope. Just a little bit right there. Cool. I'm putting enough glue on this. It's coming off the page.
Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm pulling my book tonight so my two pages get flat later. So I did the cover. I redid the border on this. I did this earlier today and I didn't like it, so I redid the border. I don't know how this got thin. Hopefully it straightens out. This one. Oh, turn it this way. We'll see. There might be any few. Oh, okay. We'll be close, but we'll get one out of it. had that template for years years and years and years and if you don't have a template you can always take a regular envelope apart to use and make a template And the one thing I forgot, that I gotta put the template back on. And that's easy, I'll just line her up. Looks good. It's just a little mark where to fold it. There we go. I need for deed. want, depending on how you're going to decorate them, uh, so I've been sitting here for wondering. What I did with all my little Tim Holtz sponges, 
and I discovered during this chest, and they're all still soft, except I've kind of used them all for delusion paint. So I'll have to get me some new ones. Let's see. We'll see how well this works. Real quick. If I can pick up any other color because I don't know. Okay, that's good. We'll use that one. I gotta get me some sponges. Take some distressed ink. It's all. Oh, vintage, vintage. Most of my. Toes are still in the uh, vintage photo. Let's sh up. Okay. I'm going to go along the edge before you glue it. Get that vintage look if you want. Excuse me. Oh man, it came out of left field. Most of your stuff, your totes are empty. Mm. Jim's going to be organized in real life. She forgot she had stuff. That's always fun. You discover something. That you forgot you thought. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, good. There we go. So I'll find my little mark. And I'll just work the paper right on the mark. That looks good. Now I'll do that. That just well, I'll make sure I get them lined up before I do that. Get this one. Once in a while you get just a little crooked in it, like I'm doing right here, and it don't look right. It don't line up. So there's a good line, and there we go. That looks good, right there. And then look at right there. Oh, I'm way off on this one. See, so just move it a little bit. Get it all lined up. That looks good. And then. But I'm not, so where am I off? I have to bring one in or the other, or I ain't gonna glue. So let's bring this one. And tell it's this one. In a little bit. Bring it back. Just a smidgen. Right on the line. There we go. That one, let's go in there and hold this down. See this one I'm off on. Just a smidgen, just a smidgen. And my cut here. Okay, let me bring this down. Okay. We're gonna bring that up. Very good. Yeah. 
Oh, it could, I think. Oh, except for the top. Top there's folding funky, so we'll fix the top. Get it all lined up nicely. That looks good. Now, before you glue it, and look to see if you need to use any more. Um, And it's photo. I'm tight on this one for some reason. I don't know why. A little bit of glue. Down. Good. I personally am going to do the inside of this one as well. This one I don't have to worry about because it's going to be glued down. I like that. But now I am going to do the edge. Going all around. Again. Vintage. Huh. And do that to all of them. Yeah, one more piece here. I don't know how much I can get, but let's see. Let's put this like that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get. Oh, too narrow. So we'll put that aside. Yeah, it's gonna be too narrow, but I can go this way. See, so, kind of back. Yeah, we'll go that way. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna line it right up with that blue right there. Who's messaging me at this time and hour? Okay, it's Jennifer. Yeah, that's fine, Jennifer. Yep. Yep, that's fine. So, okay. So, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I got that song stuck in my head. Good ship. Lollipop. Sorry, Dawn. I know you're not here, but she tells me I can't sing on live anymore. Once in a while, it just happens. God. Can't help it. So. Okay. Yep. 
<laughs> it's my line. That was my not my uh, noticed for the scavenger hunt for dawn. Notice not to sing in live <laughs> on my lives anymore. So it's the Uh, that's just a joke. Okay. Um, now this one's cool with the numbers, but I'm going to trim it. I'm going to add in my book. Okay. Now, I'll find a line. And I'll pinch the line right on it. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. See, I must have measured, did something wrong in the last one. This one's awesome. It came out perfect. I'm just going to fold that up. I mean, I could trim just a smidgen for some reason. I don't know why. I don't believe it. I am messing with it. I'm going to go over up right to the blue. That works for me. Get my little mark here. Oh, glue. Glue, glue, glue. I drop it on the floor. have to go back. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, any left. Before I put things away. This, that's that one that's narrow. That's the plan. And what's this? Yeah, I think this is going to be too narrow too. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. I'm using what I have before I open another map. There's, you know. That makes sense, right? That would be my opinion. Okay. That's a nice one. Even if it's just a little chunk, it's too small to do this. But let me see something here. Um, Okay, let's try this one. It's a different type. Um, I'm trying it. Let's bring it over. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Oh, 
Hammer. And okay. we'll see. We will see how this looks. They turn funky, but you never know. Some stuff like a glue. All right, now pull that in. This is a line. I'm going to pull that in. That line. Well, yeah, it didn't work. So they don't cover the whole. Yeah. Don't do that. That one didn't work, but I'll save that. I'll do that in a book. Put it down on the floor. There we go. Learn that one. It didn't work. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Um. I might get two out of this piece. This is a Michigan map. Yep. Yep. St. Sue Marie's right there. Yep. Whitefish Bay. Been there. Been there. I've been all over. Like Superior. Been all over there. Oh. Those are vintage photos, so don't try out blue book or books. Nope. Anything you can make out of a composition or no book tags, decorate paper clips, wands made out of cupcake holder stuff. Chuck. Rugs, cross stitching, I can make pillows. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And pocket letters. 
I love doing pocket letters. I haven't did a pocket letter since we did that. Oh, I take it back. I did one at Christmas. I can't say I haven't did one since we did pocket letters. No. Can't say that. I did do a pocket. Oh, come on. Fold, fold, fold. Okay. Was, oh, that's way perfect. What the Jesus did I do on this? Oh, that's because there we go. Oh, still, that's way off. What the heck? I'm gonna move down there. I'm gonna fix that puppy right now. Yeah, this one's gonna be. Never mind. These pieces are too small and mess with me. So I'm just going to put them. Oh, them are my envelopes. What am I doing? So I got four. I'm just going to fold this piece up and put that piece down there because I'm going to use that. And this little piece, I'm just going to stick inside another nap. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So here's another. Oh. Ooh. Hang on a minute. I might be able to get one. Ooh, yeah. What's on the back side of this? Okay. <laughs> Just gonna uh, right here because we're gonna cut this off right away. So I know my point. I'm gonna cut that off. That in that pile. That in that pile. Let's see what I got to work with here for real estate. As long as I get enough to be able to have a flap, we're good. Okay. Looks pretty good right there. That looks pretty good right there. So we'll go like that. No. Hmm. Do -do -do. Boom. Okay. Right around the corner. All right. I put that one video up, Tina, but it's only part of the book. I have to go check it out, Jennifer. I will go check it out. I will. Okay. Good. We're just going to right here. I'll fix that after I cut it.
Okay, I'm going to put this back on. I'll ask for why. Oops, wrong way. Put that back there. Right here. Right there. Okay. Put so. This one is pretty close. Cool. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll look here. I will look right now. Got it. All right. Okay. Oh, I got that. Okay, we're good. All right. Line up. Oh, that's a cool fold right in. That's cool. Sometimes the fold's just perfect with um, the map itself. So that's pretty cool, actually. That that worked that way this time. Bring that up a little bit. Work. And then the flap, just because I want to. I always angle this flap when I make my own. There we go. Bring it down. It's not a very big flap, but it's a flap. It'll work. There we go. If I go this way, it's upside down. So, yep. Like Blew it. This is the most exciting video. <laughs> That's what I was going to be doing, even if I wasn't live. So I thought I'd just go live. So I thought I figured somebody was on. Might want to keep me company.
on this one. I want the map. So where do I go? Oh, what's that? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't. But I'll figure something. So, um, Kansas City. Now, there's a cool envelope. Okay. Now, if I wanted to use them in a book, per se, okay, I could also fold it in half, like so. And I know I glued it, I'm just showing. And you can trim just this edging. You put that in the middle of a junk journal. That's one idea. You embellish the corner. Or the ones that I don't have the buttons on, I can actually use this, an envelope to send to somebody. Yep. Yep. So I can, you know, say I'm sending a letter. Uh, you know, da 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 da, and here you go. And then just glue it myself for double sided tape. Put out whatever I am in there. Well, got a cool envelope. Nah, <laughs> put a creepy doll and send it on. And this one is another thing. Now what do we want to do? Because <laughs> I won't. I'll just stick these aside until I go to use them. I won't do anything until I go to use. Well. Any suggestions? 
What to do now, guys? Huh? Mm -hmm. I guess I could work in my art journal. I really don't want to. I don't have art journal in me right now. I don't feel art journaling right now. I did these earlier. So, this is my version of an envelope, guys. It comes in a paper. I just fold it up. Okay. And then I fold it down. The small little. Uh, I could go up a little bigger. There we go. Make them all different sizes. So, by the way, I want to say on Mondays, guys, and Clint, you should come over. Hang on, I'm going to bring it up. And I don't know, it's just on, oh, uh, what the heck, YouTube, hang on. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm going to see if I find it. I don't want that. Oh, come on. Where is it? All right. On Kathy's World and Friends. Okay. I'm going to share the link in the description. On Monday, she has bingo, guys. And I think they do it on one other person's channel. And... Guys, come on over. She told me to tell people about it. It was fun. So if you're not friends with Kathy's World, then right there it is. And um, I think it was 7 o'clock Central Time. I could be wrong. I won bingo last night. I won the grand bingo. The last bingo game. I mean, she had little prizes, and then she had medium boxes, and then last night, she, um, the last bingo game was a large box full of whatever goodness. I don't know what's in it till I get it. So, but I, I won bingo. I was all excited. I won bingo. I've only won bingo one other time in my life. So now I've won bingo like twice, which is cool.
Yeah, we're making these little envelopes out of this paper I made earlier. A whole stack. I might as well make them. And I don't care if the writing, the pages are off. I think they're cool. We'll leave them the way I ripped them. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to see my box of goodness. It'll be so fun, so fun, so fun. No idea what's in it. Oh. And it's easy. You just pick five numbers, and it's and it's not about B I N G O. It's bingo, but it's the you don't. It's about the numbers, just because that's way easier. I was like, how are we playing bingo? So there's no bingo uh, sheets. It's just you pick the five numbers, and if they come up, that's and you just write your five numbers down, and you just listen for the your numbers to be. Spit out until you get all your five, the five, your five numbers. Then you get a bingo. So that was cool how that was played last night. So Sabrina won moon pies. That was funny. I've never had a moon pie. Can you make some shabby chic ones envelopes? Mm -hmm. Book pages. Oh. <laughs> oh, see. Let's see where you're, when you'll get your package, Clint. Um, all my packages were picked up, and they weren't being tracked when I went to bed last night. So, oh, I gotta move that dude. Uh, remove. Okay. Let's see. Um, I still haven't scanned yours in. Everybody else has scanned in. I don't know why your package isn't scanned in. Everybody else's is. So maybe it'll update later. So I can't tell you when you expect your package. This is not scanned in yet. I tell you, I don't know what's up with the post office. None of my packages were scanned in when I went to bed at 8.30. See? <laughs> look it up, Jen. I had, to, I had to look it up, too. It's a snack. I never heard of them, either. Spring come. Everybody was like, what? I've never had a moon pie, either. It's some sort of snack. I thought they were an ice cream sandwich, but I guess I was wrong. 
Oh, that out last night. There might be an ice cream sandwich called Moon Pie, but this was not an ice cream sandwich because it was some sort of like cookie, I guess. Excuse me. Dawn must be sleeping tonight. She wasn't feeling good, I know that. So these inks that you're seeing on these, yeah, on these envelopes, I guess, these ones right here, them are the Dollar Tree sprays that I recently got. Not too shabby, hey? I love the color combos. I used all the colors. And I added a little bit of water to them. Now, them right there. Okay, now what should I do, Jennifer? <laughs> Color. I need a color. Bob Ross. I got them printed out. I just have to color. Cool. Or I could color some Van Gogh. Oh, my Van Gogh. Let's see them here. Let's see. What am I in the mood for? Oh. No organizing to do. Let's do a Van Gogh. Let's do the chair. Oh, well, put some stuff out of my way. No, I don't have no organizing to do. That away, that away. Out of my way, get out of my way, get out of my way. Get out of my way. 
Sorry, I heard my husband. I had to go ask. I heard him say something, and then I went and said, "What? Give me five minutes and wake me up." So five minutes, let's go back and wake him up. All right. So, y'all. Hi, Angela. If anybody's been paying attention, I've been doing. Um, reading. Van Gogh. So, and I've been coloring them and researching them. <sighs> well, I was working on envelopes, so now I'm going to color. But I've been um, reading about Van Gogh. I was always interested in all his paintings, but I never. Not the man so much. So now I'm learning about the man. And I made this last week. And I've been putting notes throughout it. When I read. Things that, you know, that stick out to me. This is my little thing. So when I write, I don't go through the paper. I've come to realize that. Yes. I went and saw Beyond Van Gogh this year. And it, see, I skipped a page again. I had the tendency to do that. So, and I've been coloring some of his images. I've been using alcohol markers, not paint. Maybe someday. So I did this one. I did Starry Night, but I can't take it off the wall anymore. I did his flowers. I like getting alcohol, doing my alcohol markers because I did Starry Night and color pencils, and I didn't care. I don't care for it as much. I like using my alcohol markers. So we're gonna do his chair, Van Gogh's chair, 1888. I like. I got these off Etsy. Coloring images. Now I'm go into this book. I got another couple of his books coming. And this section, all his paintings, not all, but good, po good portion of them. And I kind of look and see what section, if it's even in here. His book that I get, that's actually on its way, is his paintings, just this basically his paintings. Van Gogh's chair, 1888. Yep, there's his pipe in a rag. Yep, so I'll kind of just set that over to get it as like a color guide. Not going to be perfect like him. Thank you. You want to see, I could, I should show the whole thing, huh? You just saw a little bit of it. I'll show the whole thing. So I had this material. I looked at Van Gogh's material. Oh my God, it's outrageous. So I had this material and I just put Van Gogh. And then in the inside cover, it says, well, I bought his washi tape, except it's coming off material. That's my daughter, my granddaughter at Beyond Van Gogh. And then this is, I bought these images of his paintings off Etsy and these little images as well. And I said I've been writing in it as I read. And you'll see repeated images. The images of his paintings are not in order. I just kind of just did it. He's a very incredible man. And like here, in this, is pictures of Beyond Van Gogh. And I don't know if you know what Van, Beyond Van Gogh was. Beyond Van Gogh was... You were immersed into, I'll show you, I'll see if I can find a picture, a better picture. His, when you walked her in, first you read about him, and then, here's, see, 
These are giant screens in this area. It was just, you were all the way around it. See? It's just so cool. Like diamonds in front of one screen. It was all the way around, either every direction. Like this was a, they had like three pillars that his paintings would come up in. It's just phenomenal. It was just oh, breathtaking. So I got them in there. And then just little pockets here and there. My next one, because I come to realize I'm only on chapter three, or no, chapter five. And I'm almost through the first signature of the book that I probably will end. There's 43 chapters that the way I'm writing in this, I'm going to end up making another little journal. But I think the next journal, I won't have as many. I won't do the pockets like I did this one. So I want more space to write. But it is such a cool thing I did, though. I'm happy with it. Even if I never wrote in this, that was so cool. This was his last self-portrait he did of himself. And the reason he never smiles in any of his self-portraits is because he had bad teeth. My favorite is the star, Starry Night Over the Ruins. Ruins, I should say, and Starry Night. My favorite. And there's a pocket if I want to put stuff in. Okay. Pretty proud of it. A little off on the way it's in the journal, but it's mine. So, wasn't too worried. Another pocket. I have those in pop paper holders. I mean paper holders. That's his mom. Now this painting right here is him walking out. He did a self portrait of himself. And it was destroyed in World War II, but somebody took a, took a snapshot of it. That's why we sit, get to see what it looks like. So that's pretty cool history. And so forth. And we go to the back, and that's me and at the on then go right there. And that's it. That's the journal. So let's color. So the colors in here. The floor is like a tile, and it's like browns and a little bit of maroons. So I'm going to start with the floor. The wall's like blue over here, and then it goes to a lighter shade. Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer.